Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create this amazing table design in Power BI. In this table, we will put the flag image of a country with a country name and the spark lines to show the train and show the total values to provide an analysis focus on number of views across all the social media platforms in the countries. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos on data analytics. Now let's start creating a table here. Uh, before that, uh, I have imported here. You can see we have imported the financial data, which is a demo uh, data set present in the Power BI. And here I have imported one more data set in which there is a country and image of all the countries. Okay, here you can see I have created the relationship between these two tables. All right, now let's create a table first. So uh, I will open the new page here. And I will go to the build visual here and will go to the table here. And here in the financial, I will select the country and the views here. Sum of views. Okay, now here you can see I got a country and sum of views here. Now, uh, if you go in the model view, here you have to make sure that you have to change the data category of this image link. Okay. Before that, what we will do, we will add that images to our table. So, for that, here, uh, go to the data here and add the image link here. Now, here you can see we are getting the URL for the all images for all the countries. Okay. Now, if you want this, uh, this as a first column. So, for that, you go to the build visual here and click the right and move it to the top. Okay. Now, here. You can see images as a first column, then country as a second column, then views as a third column. Now, uh, as you can see here, it is in URL, but here we want an image. So, for that, what we have to do, you go to the data model here, and here just click that column, okay, and go to the properties. And in properties, here in the advanced, here in the data category, you have to change it to the image URL, okay. This is must. You must do this before doing the further formatting. Okay, then if you go to the report view, now here you can see we are getting the all the flags images here in the table. Now we have to add the spark line here. Spark line and the small line charts you can add in a table to give a quick representation of a numerical or a statistical information. Okay, so for adding that, what you can do? You, you go to the column where you want to add the spark line, then click right here and here you will get option like add a spark line. Just click that and here in the y axis it is views because we are uh, in the table we want a views. Then there, there is a summarization of the all views and for the x axis you have to select a date here. Okay, most of the time you have to select here date and just create. Now here you can see we got a spark line. Now we want spark line to be a third column. So for that again, you go here and move it to the up. Okay, now here you can see it is it came in a third column. Now you can change the name of all the columns here. So here for the image link, for the first column, we will write here as a country. Then for the second column, we don't want anything. So we'll will keep it blank okay for the third column we want we'll write it here as a trains by date and here we'll write only views okay so you have to change the name of all the column like this okay now we'll do little formatting for formatting the table, the first step what we are going to do is we, we don't want here the total. So here we'll go to the format and here we don't want the total. So here we'll go in the totals and we'll turn off. Okay. Now next thing is we, we want to change the size of these flags. So for that what we can do here you will go to you go to this image size and here you change the height and width to 25 
okay now here you can see the length uh, height and width of the flags are changed now next thing you have to change the padding so for that what you can do you go to the uh, style and uh, size and style here in a padding you change this padding to here 15 for each okay so i will do it quickly 15 15 and 15 okay now this is done now next thing what you have to do we have to change the background of this so for that again we'll go to the background here and we'll change the background here now earlier it was black now we'll keep it as a dark blue so we'll go to here and we'll take it as a dark blue color okay that's it now we have to change the values here let's zoom it first so that you can see it properly okay we, yeah now go to the values here in the values uh, here you can select the font like so give and make it uh, text color as uh, you can keep it as dark blue and background color also alternate color you can make it blue and for the column headers also you can change the text color dark blue okay make it bold and if you want to keep it center you can make it as a center here then what else we can do here here in the visual border to turn it on we will put the rounded corner as uh, 20 20 25 okay we'll keep a shadow here okay we'll keep shadow as blue only and then you have to write the title here you make a title on and write a title name here as a top countries top countries by views okay and change the font here again it will take the this one and change the color to white we will add subtitle as well here i will write the subtitles like this analysis focus on number of views across all the social media platforms here again we can change the text color here we will take it as a orange and you can change it as per your liking and requirement now next thing we are going to do go to the styles preset and here you will keep it as a none okay now here you can see we are getting the uh, background you can see uh, it's get changing to blue now we have to change the value uh, color of the values for that again we'll go to our uh, value section for values <coughs> here we'll go to the text color we'll change it to white okay and alternate also we'll take it as orange okay and for column headers also we'll change it to white Okay, you can change it uh, any color as per your requirement we can make it as dark blue as well yeah okay now white is looking better yeah and we'll keep it 10 font size then if you don't want such dark grid lines for that you can go to the grid lines here and you can change the color to uh, the darker one okay like this you can change it Okay, as per your requirement or you make it light blue no the darker one is looking better yeah like this and you can change the width as well you can make it small you can keep it as one then uh, for the spark line we can go here in the spark line and here data color is blue only if you can change here the data color as well and here in the marker we can select here the highest point okay and we can change the color of that as orange 
here sparkling showing the highest value and the color of a marker to inform your users about the available highest or a maximum value in the aggregated data like this you can show that so finally we have completed our table okay so table and matrix are the powerful visualization in power bi and when you add the context and purpose it, it will absolutely give you the better visibility and additional information to your report users so uh, hope you understood how to create it for more such videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you for watching